The initial plan was to go to 23 countries in Europe and take 23 women from those countries uh, for a date. Hi, my name is Rohit Subramanian. I'm a motorcyclist by profession. I've been traveling around the world for the past two and a half years. I rode a motorcycle around 35 countries so far. Riding a motorcycle is a form of meditation for me. The form of oneness with nature. That's what I love the most. I was running my own startup, I quit everything. And uh, one of my friends who was working with Reporter at that time wrote an article about me saying how this guy quit his job and started traveling around the world. He asked me how many countries are you going? So I was watching uh, MotoGP at that time and I saw Valentino Rossi riding. His jersey number is 46. So I said, yeah, I'm riding around 46 countries. And uh, what was a lie at that time became a reality later. Okay, I was riding from Hungary to Croatia. I enter Croatia, I completely forgot to fill fuel on my bike and I had to stop it on the highway, on the sides of the highway. Uh, in Europe, you have this uh, rule or this tradition where you can't uh, push your bike on the highway. You have to call the SOS guys. So I called these guys, they said, it's a busy day, it's gonna take at least one and a half hours, two hours for them to come. I was like, cool, I'll wait for you guys. I started listening to music and I started swiping right in, on Tinder. And that's when I met this girl. Uh, so we started chatting and she said, what's up? And I said, uh, nothing much, I'm just standard on the road without fuel. I don't know what to do, I'm just chilling here. What's up with you? She said, oh, that's interesting. Uh, give me a location. So she came down in the next 30 minutes with a sandwich and a gallon of fuel. And we had a sandwich and we chilled. And yeah, then I rode to Zagreb and I took her for a dinner the next day in Zagreb. Tinder works for me in different countries. So either they come down and like show me a different place or a unique spot in the city, which is very personal to them. And I really like to like explore that, you know, because it, it might be a normal cafe for us, but you know, someone has a story behind it that kind of like fascinates me more. Yeah, we usually go out and uh, hang out and we meet a bunch of their friends and a bunch of other travelers that I'm traveling with might come and join us. It usually becomes like one big gang at the end of the night. France, uh, there's this place that I went for wine and cheese for a night and uh, Spain, I think I went to this hot chocolate place which is 135 years old. So I started in Singapore, then Indonesia, Thailand, Vietnam, Cambodia, Laos, Nepal, Bhutan and Myanmar was the next big leg of riding. The first thing is people are very shy, so you don't have to be. And always wear a smile, smile at everyone that you see. It's completely fine. A lot of people wear their earphones or headphones, which kind of like shoes away people from talking to you. Uh, there are times when I used to go to a restaurant and I'll be the only guy sitting eating alone and I don't like to do that. So I go and ask someone else, can I just join your table? And people have been kind enough to say that, yeah, I'll do so. So always be open for like talking to people. Then. You're never alone when you're traveling. You have like a lot of people around you. People play like a huge role in your travel.